which is better than the average on multiple drugs. So we got the FRQ, we were good. As a whole, I do, like his class didn't have drawing dead weight loss. Guys do dead weight loss really well. This is the hardest thing. Out of all the market failures, I thought finding the subsidy was the hardest thing. It does have an SY, doesn't it come like in, uh, stem from the dead weight loss and go to the next? Does anyone have I, I haven't explained this really well. So the way that I thought about it is we have to pay the subsidy. Yeah. So we have to take that jump from uh, private benefit to social benefit. So that's our like, subsidized or excess, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And then you have to take that quantity for every unit that we produce all the way back. So you're multiplying your subsidy times the quantity, the like optimal quantity. So like get that big box. So if you did the dead weight loss, You'd be chopping off part of that box. You'd be missing. You'd only be taking it from the market. Yeah. That was really good. That was a much better explanation than I'd given to it. Thank you. You good? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure it made sense. Yeah. Luke, how do you, did you look at the drill? No, I haven't. All right. Everyone take a minute, look at the drill. I think that's what Aiden just asked. It's okay. Yeah. It's a blunder for you for not knowing all that. Pizza for the Plus, and people like to just make fun of it. But the world we live in. All right. Luke, do you feel good about this? One to ten. Ten being absolute lock answer. One being, I don't even know where I sit. Um, five, five. I think I got this wrong on the test. So how about now? Uh, same. Same. All right. Vincent, how do you feel? What have you been doing? I had to get up. You had a what? I didn't think about that. I got to get up. I got to put that down. I didn't think it's dark. It's valid. It's just like three years sitting. Tim? Uh, I think I know it. Okay, what do you think? Is it C? Okay, public goods cannot be produced in a private competitive market since they have five. All right. Chris, what do you ask? I say C as well. Okay. So we're all in agree? Uh, I should see the proposal. Why B? That's what I picked on the test. Yeah, but why? I mean, that's not convincing me he's um, right. I just remember you talking in seminar about that, like it's how it's impossible to exclude individuals. So when I saw that, I was like, he said that in the seminar. And I remember. Okay, that's good memory. All right, what makes national defense a public good? Okay, so that means that there is um, a problem with free riders, right? And B is it's generally impossible to exclude individuals who do not pay. That's the definition of free riders, right? So it is B as a problem. Okay. 47.9% if you got it wrong. Yeah. So is that like passing the line that depends on the public good? Yeah. It's not worded. Look, so that that was one of the questions that I might say the wording was a little wrong. Because it looks like almost like why would the government provide it? Right? Yeah. Now I I could see your point. Okay. All right, Peter. Uh, let us remember when the Holy Presence of God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, God, thank you for this day of school. It's our last period. We pray that we can stay focused. Um, learn a little bit more about macro and come out of this class just a little bit smarter. Amen.
St. John Baptist Daily Cell. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Does it, is it going to seem like I'm in a period? Am I going to seem tired? No. Am I okay. not going to be focused? No. Am I 80 years old? If I was 18, I'd be on the edge of my... No, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have been in school. Um, all right. This clicker would click. That would help. Can you get a laser pointer? Okay. We prayed. All right. Here, the questions are really on chapter 22. Here, here's what happened. First of all, I posted it originally on 22 and then went back to change it. I can't read on a computer, so I was reading the chapter in the textbook, which is chapter 23 in the textbook and 22 online. So, yeah, I don't know how that happened either, Peter. So I changed it from 22 to 20. But now it's chapter 22, question to do tomorrow. Okay. I will be here after this class for 20 minutes if you want to just review some of the stuff. We did, did in macro. Yesterday on parent teaching, every parent asked me which is harder, micro and macro. And macro, look, Mr. Stembler asked me if I had to choose one of them to teach, and I had a bet on which one I get a higher class rate, I pick micro. But our guys normally do better in macro. Part of it, it's the second, um, it's the second one, I think we're better, but it's difficult. So, because it's more conceptual. So if you want to get off to a good start, just spend the 20 minutes, Tuesday and Thursday. All right, take out your notes from yesterday. We should have a separate thing, Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, let's put that up. So, so yeah. 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 Uh, hold on. Sebastian, what's the lowest grade you haven't got a camera ball? Um, like an 89. Okay, well, uh, you're getting lower than 89. You got your head on a swivel. You're lucky you're going to Montana. That's five days. I can't get you turning around. All right. What's not... I'm going to ask Parisi if you have a turnaround in Montana. There's this text. All right. What's not included in GDP? All right. The first thing is intermediate goods. Here's the easiest. The good, when the consumer buys the good, that's a final good. That's what's in GDP. Intermediate goods are like I buy wheat. I turn the wheat into bread, I sell bread. The wheat is not part of GDP because I'm counting it into the bread. The, the tires on a car are not part of GDP because I'm selling a car. The car is the final good. However, if Peter has a flat tire and buys a tire, then it is part of GDP because the tire is the final good. Being purchased. If someone sells like tires to a company, to make if cars, they sell it to General Motors and General Motors puts it on a car, it's not. No. Okay. But if they sell it to um, Jiffy Loop, when Jiffy Loop sells you the tire, then it's a final good. Okay, so if it's used in a product, it's not. Correct. Okay. All right. Now, here's one. That really gets people. Financial transactions are not. So stop. But when they say real estate here, they mean land and transfer payments. Does anyone remember what a transfer payment is? Transfer payments are when government 
spends money and does not get a good a service for it. Social security, welfare, unemployment. Matthew, here's the great news. I realized that I qualified for social security for four years and I've never got it. I'm applying. It's an extra 30000 a year. Holy freaking cow, I could afford to teach now. This is like the greatest. I am so excited. Like, that's well, half of my son's tuition, but it's, it's nice. What? When's Social Security? When do you get to use it? Oh, uh, I think you could. It's all different stages, but I'm now at the stage at 70 that you do not get penalized. Like sometimes you get penalized if you use, if you cash it at 62, but you're going to get less. Yeah. Now, my friend said, because I could have been doing this for like a couple of years, I'll probably get a bigger, you know, a bigger chunk. But then again, I was a teacher. So. All right. Who knows? But it's extra money to me. I am freaking excited. All right. Use good. No, BK. No, they're not part of GDP. Why? Because they count the GDP when we originally made it. Boy. So I buy a car for 20,000. Boom, that 20,000 is in GDP. I sell it to Ty for 16. No, because we counted it once for 20. All right, illegal activities. Now, someone needs to find this out for me. I really would like to know how much GDP increased by selling drugs that are now legal and legalized gambling. I mean, that had a, a little boost in the GDP. All right, if Ben cuts his own grass for his parents, not part the GDP. If he comes and cuts my lawn, it is. Okay. Oh, by the way, one second, Amy. If quizzes say, like, Peter is selling to Tim marijuana, we're assuming it's illegal. Because, Tim, you can just go to the store. You don't have to buy it. Amy. So you're saying you can put town stores of GDP if you're yeah. mowing your neighbor's lawn? If you're getting paid. Even if it's just, like, cash? Yeah, well, of course, Aiden, you're reporting that cash because you're an honest citizen. And you don't look very honest right now. Well, like, I used to shovel, like, snacks for the neighbor to that. And you didn't? You know that this class is being taped, David. And the IRS will be at your door. You turn 18, Paul, yeah, it's okay. Do you need this back? Jail isn't as bad as they say it is. How much did you repay all the money? If what? If like all the money was reported, that as or like how much it would be? Yeah. All the money. All of it. All the money. All of it. 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 All right. Now, there's two ways of calculating GDP. One is expenditures, and we spend most of our time on the expenditure of presence. Okay. But for every dollar someone spends, someone makes a dollar. So the income approach, one of the things I would make sure to note is expenditures equal income. I think I said that maybe once or twice in micro. It comes up a lot in macro. The need to know that expenditures equal income is important. And while the income says wages, rent, interest, and profit, it might be worthwhile to note that wages are the biggest part of the income approach.
Don't say any names. But the teachers on eighth period ever let you guys out early just as a eighth period? Yeah, I'm not this time. I'm not at any of this. Okay. Not even because it's this place. I mean, it's all the time next year. I'm just like, uh, uh, five minutes. I mean, some teachers say, yeah, five minutes early. Anyway. One time, one time, I got let out like 35 minutes old. Wow. So it's a 40 minute period. Uh, and then I think yes, yeah, some edible effect that in your orders. <laughs> All right. Now, here is the expenditure proof. It has four components. One consumer spending. Do you need to know 70 per no? I would know consumer spending is the biggest part of the four components. Okay. Now. Anything you buy goes under consumer spending. The toughest category for students is business investment, which I'll elaborate a little more in about five minutes, but it's not stocks and bonds. It's tools and equipment, all right? It's like capital was in micro. So business investment would be like factories, oh, for Calvert Hall, it might be markers and chairs. It's things that help you do your business. All right. Government spending on everything but transfer payments. Okay. They are going to try to sneak those transfer payments down your throat. Don't fall for them. Schools, roads, tanks, airplanes, military. And then the last one, net exports. Now, I just want to show you quickly why net exports. So, when they're asking you, is it part of GDP? The goods have to be produced in the United States. If they're not produced in the United States, they're not part of GDP. So, here's what happens you buy a Nissan, I don't know what cars they have, but anyhow, for $40,000. Consumption. And the US GDP is plus 40,000. Okay, T bought a car for 40,000. However, imports is now, because it's exports minus imports, imports are now minus 40,000. So the GDP is not impacted. Okay. Now, exports, anything made in the United States, sold abroad. Imports, anything made abroad, sold in the United States. All right? Questions? Yes, Peter. Does that mean we import them if we export them? Uh, a lot. Of yeah. Now, that's not a good or a bad thing. It's a fact. Do you know what I mean? Like some people think, oh, it's bad. It's not bad. All right? Yeah. So if you just export something that's forty thousand dollars, then the GDP just goes up plus forty thousand. Correct. Like if we make a Ford in Detroit and sell it to Japan, then. okay. Anything else? Okay. Now, I do not know why, Alex, that GDP is considered a Y. Why not a G? No, it's a Y. Y equals consumption plus investment plus government spending plus net export. Now, Matthew, there's no graphs in the first unit. But when we go to unit two, aggregate demand, then here are the shifters. Consumption, investment, government spending, net export. <laughs> You okay, Eddie? Yeah. No, the other one. Yeah. He looks a little eye glazed. Uh, By the way, you put 100 on the quiz, you didn't get 100. Huh? I didn't? No. I yeah. <laughs> Aiden put 100 in the box. Nice. <laughs> no, I, thought, I thought it was good. I'm going to start putting 80%. All right. Well, I think you got left. No, I'm just kidding. All right. 
Consumption is made up of three components. Durable goods, things that last a long time. Washing machines, refrigerators, ovens. Non-durable, think food, toilet paper, tissues. Services, dental work. Now, I said stocks are not part of GDP. But if BK is a stock broker and he charges me for buying and selling stocks, his service is part of GDP. Okay. You don't need to know what percent. It's just know it's the biggest of all. All right. The second one is investment. Again, it's never, it's not about stocks and bonds. Okay. I can't emphasize that enough. It's about businesses, buying machine, resources, tools. Now that's the tricky thing of investment. There's three things in the category. That's one of them. The second one is new homes. So I just go business capital machines, two new homes, three inventory. And I'll explain inventory a little more in the next slide. Ryan, you tell me when you're ready. All right, Ryan, does the purchase of a new oven produced in America all right, so that's part of GDP. Does it count as consumer spending or investment spending? Consumer. Consumer. Eight and I, do you agree? Um, sorry to wait for this. What, what did he say? What did he say? Sorry. Okay. Okay. okay, talk to me. Uh, it's a durable good for like consumers. And then so if I buy an oven for my house, yeah. you're saying durable consumers. Yes, consumer. but like if um, you're a chef or you run a business like a restaurant, then it's a... So if Domino's buys an oven for their store, it's an investment. Okay, good job. Good job, Yeah. Yep. The, uh, Investment is a less percentage than the right? Yes. So, so, like, if Domino's is buying an oven and then I'm buying an oven for my house, that's going to be a different amount. Yeah, yours is going on to consumption and Domino's is going on. Oh. All right. You guys did a good job on that. You, you nailed it. Now, all right. You just need to know that new homes are part of investment. Okay. Inventory are goods produced and held in storage. Or, and what they're doing is they're anticipating future sales. And I'll give you that in a second, like an example of that in one second. I have a question on, on the GDP. Yeah. So if you're buying a million dollar home and you're putting down a down payment and paying monthly mortgage, does is the GDP go add a million dollars? A million. 
because your bank has given you the, the other like 800,000 or whatever. But now you sell that home to Peter for 2 million, nothing changes because it's a used good. Um, so, so no, it's about GDP is about what's being produced and serviced in that year. And we don't count things twice. All right, let me give you the inventory. Ford in 2023, does not sell the CRV for 28,000. They put it in inventory, 28,000. It counts to 2023's GDP for 28,000. Now they sell it to time. I got to take it out of inventory for account. So that's minus 28. I put it in consumption because Ty paid 28. So in 2024, there's no change to my GDP. So it only affects, again, the year the car was made. Now, Ty buys this, and then a year later, sells it to Luke for 23. Doesn't count, it's used. So at like the end of the year, sometimes it's like Dover and Leeds, so it's like in 2023, but like the leasing some 2024 cars, which year does that go on to G? Like what year does GP that go on to? If it's made, oh, so you're yeah. like saying at the end of 2023, they sold the 2024? Yeah. That's kind of an accounting thing. Um, I would say we would consider it 2023, yeah. the way we look at it. But I bet it's reported in 2024. It's also how it's also how Ford wants to take the sale accounting wise. Do you know what I mean? All right. Now, government, we've kind of anything except transfer payments. Pay to Jeff salaries. Okay. But Jeff. I'm telling you, someone is going to answer transfer payments, and I'm going to go nuts. Not you. Not Gardner, because I yelled at him about it. All right. And the last, so those are, so we got consumption, investment, government spending, net exports. Those are the things that go into GDP. So here's what I'd like us um, to do. I'd like you to say yes or no, included or not, in what category? So, just yell out, is movies part of GDP? Yes. yes. What category? Consumption. All right, do the other nine on your own. Government. Consumption, investment, government spending, that actually. I am doing fantastic, Mr. Uh, what do you have to sort of? Little, little review. Can follow up the afterwards? I will check in. Check in, please. Check in. Check in. Check in. This, this is a great story. Yes. They stole one of my other guys. Um, they had to go on junior retreat. Chase. Wow, I'm glad you're going to walk in. Pick your poison. Yeah, I know. All right. Henry. Number two. Yep. Government. Government spend. Okay. David, number three. I said no. 
No, because it's used. Good, good job. BK, number four. I said yes, it is a business investment. So business investment, right? We good so far? Tim, number five. No. No! Not made in the United States. Made and sold in Mexico. Part of Mexico's GDP? Yeah. Alex, 10,000K profit from selling stocks. No! No stocks. Matthew, 15K car made in US, sold in Canada. It's part of the uh, net export, export. Part of net exports, right? Made in the United States. Ethan, 10K tuition to attend college. Yeah, so you put it on the consumption? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably where I put it. Hi, 120 social security payment to Bob. Oh, sure. Okay. Hi, is government getting a good a service for it? No, they're giving the good a service. No, they're giving they're giving money, but they're getting nothing for it. So then it's a transfer payment, so it's not. Okay? It's not part of GDP. Chris. Farmer purchases new 100K tractor. It's an investment. Any question on these 10? Ty. Why are stocks not part of? Because it's not a product or a service. Okay? Yes. You were in the import, you just wanted that expert. Yes. All right. I, I got a couple of questions before you go. Based on the economic figures in the table above, what is the value of GDP in billions of dollars? I've got a minute. I think investment brings it in. I think that's saying like business is buying. Oh, okay. 4,700. 4, I don't know if appreciation is. Exports are less than imports, so minus 2. So 45. I think so. Appreciation. Unless appreciation is the uh, no, I, I think that's, I don't know, but I think that's what the value is. All right. What? Go, right? Hey. All right. Let's see. How many people agree with A as an alpha? Seems like. All right. Consumption 3,000, Ryan and Ann? Yes. Government in, so now we're at 4,000. Yes. Investment in, 4,700. Depreciation, no. Exports in 5,000, imports in minus 500, 4,500. Good job. Next up, which of the following will lead to an increase in the United States gross domestic product? All right. BK, what are we thinking? Uh, I said T. T. Because they're paying the U.S. to build their companies there, so we're getting money for it. Okay. Sebastian, what category does D go under? I can't hear it. Or is it 
Oh, it's an investment. Yeah, it's an investment. It's an investment. All right, last one of the day. Which of the following household purchases will, will be counted as part of gross private investment in a country's GDP? Ethan, what do we got? E. e as an Ethan, a newly constructed home. Homes are an investment. Have a great day. Yeah. What? Aaron wasn't here. He just came on his desk. Oh, thank you. Thank you.